Vanessa Williams was born on the 18th of March, 1963. She is an American singer, actress, producer, and fashion model. She was raised by music teacher parents in suburban New York City. Yeah, I was a musical theater major at Syracuse University. Uh -huh. and. Uh, I was supposed to do Cyrano de Bergerac that April, and uh, the show got canceled at Syracuse Stage. And they have local scouts that kind of like, that are on the board, like, would you do this, the pageant? And um, I had April free, and I said to my mom, like, do you think I should do this Miss Syracuse thing? And uh, so she said, do it. After winning the title of Miss New York, she went to Atlantic City to participate in the Miss America pageant. On September 17th, 1983, Vanessa Williams made history by becoming the first African-American woman to win the title of Miss America. And Vanessa Williams, Miss America 1984 is with us this morning. You had a call of congratulations from President Reagan. He's never called a winning Miss America before that, that I'm aware mm -hmm. of. Do you think that's just a coincidence? I think he made it a point. I'm very pleased that he called and I think that it impressed a lot of people and I'm sure he wanted that on his record. An extremely talented young woman with aspirations for Broadway at the talent you displayed Saturday night. Just 10 months into her reign as Miss America 1984, Vanessa Williams was forced to give up her crown after Penthouse Magazine published nude photos of her. The photos were taken two years earlier and published without her permission, but the public and the Miss America organizers did not care. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. As you all know, the Miss America pageant has asked for me to res resign as Miss America 1984. In May of 1982, after completing my freshman year at Syracuse University, Tom Chappelle had approached me about posing nude, and his assurance that the photographs would just be for me to see, I was ultimately persuaded to do a session. Not only was this something that has never happened before, but it also split the public's opinion right down the middle with some people defending her, while others called for harsh discipline. The images she represented could not be more opposite. On one hand, you had Miss America, who was sweet, innocent, and angelic, and on the other hand, there were the nudes published in a dirty porno magazine. It was the first and only time that a contestant was forced to resign her crown in the pageant's 100-year history. She would emerge four years later with the release of her debut album, The Right Stuff, in 1988, which featured the hit songs, The Right Stuff, which reached number one on the Hot Dance Tracks list, Dreaming, which was number one on the Billboard Top 100 charts. Her second studio album, The Comfort Zone, went to the top of the Billboard R&B album chart in 1991 and featured the hit single Save the Best for Last, which topped Billboard Hot 100 charts at number one. The album reached platinum status, selling over two million copies. Her third album, 1993's The Sweetest Days, also went platinum. In 1995, she recorded Colors of the Wind, the theme song, and the soundtrack for the animated feature film, Pocahontas. The song later won an Academy Award and reached number four on the Billboard Hot 100. She made her big screen debut with a small role in 1987's The Pickup Artist, featuring Molly Ringwald and Robert Downey Jr. Wait, me? And yours? Doesn't really matter, does it? She also appeared in the 1991 comedy Another You with Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. I am not your husband. I'm a Volvo salesman. She then moved on to co-star in 1996's Eraser. I would be under complete protection the entire time. You've done a great service for your country, Miss Cullen. And 1997's Soul Food, whose ensemble cost included Mia Long, Vivica A. Fox, and Maggie Pfeiffer. For the taxes of the utilities except me. And now we can finally put Uncle Pete in a home like we've been talking about for years. The 2000 remake of Shaft, featuring Samuel L. Jackson. How you doing? Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Watching your back. You wearing your vest? 
Na. Jesus! And in 2004, she starred in Johnson Family Vacation with Cedric the Entertainer. <sighs> She also made a number of TV appearances, including roles on Boomtown and South Beach. Paco, stop it! What are you looking at? Let her go. Paco, stop it! Come here! Come here! From 2006 to 2010, she played the role of diva and former supermodel Wilhelmina Slater in the hit comedy series Ugly Betty. She's a man. for which she received three Emmy Awards nominations. And in 2009, she released her eighth studio album, The Real Thing. From 2010 to 2012, she starred in Desperate Housewives as spoiled rich woman, Renee Perry. There's a new housewife in town. DC's Desperate Housewives. More than three decades later, Miss America pageant's chief executive, Sam Haskell, offered a public apology to Vanessa Williams at the 2015 show. I want to apologize to you for anything that made you feel any less the Miss America you are. An apology for the way the organization treated Williams. Though none of us currently in the organization were involved then, on behalf of today's organization, I want to apologize to you and to your mother, Miss Helen Williams, he said. Incredible amount of shame and humiliation that she was confronted with. He went on to say, I want to apologize for anything that was said or done that made you feel any less than Miss America you are and the Miss America you always will be. She currently stars in the supernatural drama series 666 Park Avenue. The Drake, known for the finest living in the city. I am taking you dress shopping. Well done, my dear. Home to 80 residents. Hi, I'm Louise. Jane, nice to meet you. Just stop by for drinks and time. No! I like her spirit. She's how we get Henry. Vanessa Williams has been married three times. Currently, she is married to retired businessman James Script, whom she met while on vacation in Egypt in 2016. Script is a private person, but she only has good things to say about him. Jim is a real man, she told People magazine in 2016, shortly after the couple celebrated their one-year anniversary. You want somebody in your life who has integrity, who is solid, who knows who he is. He's romantic, and he's a great guy. She also has four children. Her eldest daughter, Melanie, worked in the fashion industry for 10 years, but left to become a teacher. Her second daughter, Jillian, is an R&B singer who has worked with artists like Busta Rhymes and Childish Gambino. Vanessa welcomed her one and only son, Devin, in 1993. Though he acted alongside his mom in the 2000 romantic historical drama, The Courage of Love, other than that Devon has not chosen a life of celebrity and instead works at a high fashion outlet in Los Angeles. Her youngest daughter, Sasha Fox, whom she had with her second husband, NBA player Rick Fox, was born in 2000. Sasha follows in her mom's footsteps and works as a model and actress. She has been in Vogue magazine and models for Serena Williams clothing line, Serena, 